Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jarrett and we have an unboxing, something I've been really going crazy about getting my hands on. So it's awesome. Let me just go right through the top. So it's awesome that I'm finally getting my hands on this. And this is the Demco AD20. What a beast. What a beast. And you're about to see why we are unboxing it with the AD20. Demco knives, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, that's a nice pouch. Shark lock. So I am going to, uh, during the review of this, also there's a bunch of things I wanna say about this uh, in this video. Oh, that's a nice cloth. So we have the 20.5. Now I was on the, I didn't know which one to get between the blade shapes. I already had the clip points, so I wound up picking the shark's foot. Oh wow, this is so much smaller. Holy cow. I mean, I know on camera, it's hard to really relate size, but it is far slimmer i mean like look at that far slimmer just way more compact oh wow that's so cool that is so cool it is so much it's a lot smaller than i thought it was going to be yet still i can get a full grip on it in you know just this area without even going over this hump uh, I was the one thing I was worried about was because since the size was different was my thumb going to land directly on this and kind of but it's very easy for me to just go right over the top of it right there or you know standing back here is not really I'm never going to do that I don't think but doing this is an option doing this is an option or this so very very nice very comfortable very thin these are like plastic scales as you can see but this thing is um i heard demco talking about the strength of this lock you know and <laughs> crazy strong um i'll definitely talk about it in the review of what i heard him say and i'm thinking about doing a hollow grind on this i'm thinking about sending it out because look at the the blade stock thickness difference this is a far more compact more slicey yes this lock is still redonkulously strong let's look at the stop pin really quick but yeah nice stop pin that's a great size i love seeing a stop pin this size for such a compact little knife beautiful stone washing but even though this is a ridiculously strong lock. I I want the lock on a basic slicer EDC knife. And I'm sure in the future, Demco's going to do things like that. Now, this is made in Taiwan. You know, the blade steel is OS 10, plastic scales, you know, and it does have the shark lock. But I'm imagining that in the future, well, one, we already know they're going to come out with more steels and, you know, move the, the, the finish line up or whatever you want to call it. Move the goalpost farther. I already know they're going to do that. He's even said they're going to do that. But I want to see this, this lock on other knives, meaning, meaning like, um, very slicing knives like even though it's just a such a strong lock just because it's that strong doesn't mean we have to take every knife or he has to take every knife and put it on a hard use knife um yes the lock is still going to be ridiculously really strong and i know it makes it weaker by putting a thinner more smaller compact blade on the lock and then it makes it to where you have a extremely robust lock that's not going to get the level of strength that it could out of it because the blade would snap right because that's the weak point however 
you know, just because the lock is that strong doesn't mean you have to have the blade equally as strong as the lock. Uh, and I like that he does have like, you know, the 8020, which is ridiculously strong like that. And, you know, you can basically do anything with it because it's that strong. Well, since we have that, now it'd be nice to see it also in compact little slicers at regular edc knives which this absolutely is i mean this thing is it's small it's smaller than i thought it was going to be here is the copper delica and it looks like the copper delica might be a little bit longer or equal the exact same size and it's it's very very light and very thin it just feels very very thin i would love to see this in a titanium version i would love to see this in a micarta version for sure i'd love to find somebody out there that's making micarta scales for this i would absolutely get some you know at some point now what am i going to do to this since this is the one i would customize over this one this one i love the way it is i love the robust blade i thought about doing a regrind on this because i wanted to you know have the lock and other options but this is the only one i have you know before this so since this one's the budget friendly version i figured this is the one to do any type of mod work on leave that one alone let it be stock take this thin this out put a hollow grind on this um i was almost kind of uh upset at myself for not getting the clip point version in this one because i do think that it would have been i i almost wish i would have and i might possibly try to find somebody to trade for the clip point version for this one maybe if it's you know brand new like this one is um, nice edge very very sharp i like the angle that's on it i know the thickness behind the edge is pretty thick so you know even though it is a you know relatively thin blade for you know the robust lock but putting a nice deep hollow grind on this and then still having the strength from the lock i have no doubt that or i already know you know i it's not even that i have no doubts it would be just fine and it'll be a very good slicer but man just having the clip point i love that that clip point blade shape because it's almost a drop point it really is i mean i know it is a clip point 100 it is a clip point but it's the downward tip goes down so far it works great as a drop point and just a versatile blade shape this one's not going to be as versatile as this one this one's going to be more utility oriented which i do like don't get me wrong and it, it's not perfectly flat it does have a little bit of belly so slicing and utility cuts it'll be just fine but anything where i guess for penetrating or uh prying or anything like that it's going to be harder to do with something like this you know like i said the other blade shape is a little bit more versatile but this one's definitely going to be really good and even better than that one at slicing and utility cuts because the geometry is a little bit better i like that it does have the hole and the thumb stud and that lock the lock is just such a good lock this one's um let me see what? this one's like let me see like that this one doesn't seem like it oh there it goes there it goes <laughs> this is so awesome i'm so happy i got this um it is i will say this because the one thing that i was kind of not upset about but why not just g10 why plastic i wish this you know why not just put the g10 i don't get why they put plastic i know trust me guys i know why they did it they did it because it was easy and cheap right they could they didn't they could you know just have it molded or whatever very easy to 3d print or mold or you know you know because they can just mold them and make them and they can make them a lot faster but it does even though it does have oh it does have full steel liners okay so the AD20 doesn't have full steel liners. It has this thick, robust G10. And then it has 
this liner back here that's you know just right here right this however has a liner you can actually see it so that's cool um but you can see how thin they must be but i i was really wondering like man because i'm not a fan of plastic i'm not a fan of sorry i'm not a fan of frn or anything like that however because of the shark lock and it being so strong for such a lightweight knife i do like lightweight knives you know like this one this one's not mine but you know i like it i do like it a lot so sometimes i understand it but most of the time i would way rather just have my Carter G10 or titanium or something else, you know, rather than FRN or plastic. In this case, I made an exception and possibly there might be somebody that's going to start making scales out. Obviously, I'm going to drop it. <laughs> There's probably going to be somebody out there that will start making scales, which I can't wait for. Um, you see the Demco right there. Aus 10, Aus 10 steel is going to be similar to VG 10. Very, very cool. Is that the same? It can't be the same size. Oh, wow, it is, ain't it? Is that, that's not the same clip, is it? Holy cow, it is the same clip. I wish they would have used the big hardware like on this one. They used T6s on this one on the little guy man it's so much lighter holy cow well there you guys go like i said i will have a full review of it after i've worked with it and just beat the tar out of it and possibly have a regrind already done on it by the time i do the review because i think that's going to be something very important for the review because a lot of people are showing these and doing reviews on these so i'd like to be the one that has the regrind um maybe i might trade it for you know for um a clip point if somebody out there does have a clip point and they want the shark foot and couldn't get one i might possibly do that but we'll see i love you guys thanks for watching peace